Hey guys, so I'm here with a really quick video. I just wanted to kind of give you an update and some tips for dealing with an, a dry, itchy scalp and flaking. So I typically don't have any type of scalp problems. I don't deal with itchiness, flakes, stand, you know, anything like that. And even if you look on my channel, from probably when I started this in 2015 I don't think there's any video where you see me or hear me talking about oiling my scalp because I haven't oiled my scalp in years and I don't know what I do I don't know what it is about my scalp or my hair but I just never needed to like I just didn't deal with any problems but unfortunately when I found out I was pregnant like ever since I've been pregnant I have been dealing with a dry scalp. Now this isn't really new to me because I experienced the same thing when I was pregnant with my daughter Malia. Um, so back when I was pregnant with her, I was using tea tree oil on my scalp. But now that I'm in this pregnancy and I've been doing and using different things, I find that I don't think tea tree oil was the best oil for my scalp. And I'm gonna tell you why. So let me just get into what I have been doing and then I'll touch back on why I don't think that was the right oil for me. So obviously when you are dealing with a dry, itchy, flaky scalp, you want to make sure that your scalp is clean. You don't want to just allow it to build up on your scalp and your hair. So I have been... I have been loving these cream of nature hair products so yeah this is the cream of nature coconut milk shampoo and then this is the cream of nature coconut milk um, conditioner so if you haven't seen my latest wash day routine definitely check it out because these two are my favorites for wash day and they're in the video so you get to see they're cheap they're affordable they're only like four bucks at um, well, I know Walgreens has it. I know my beauty supplies have it. Um, so I will link down below where you can get these, but especially the shampoo, you guys. This shampoo is amazing for making sure your scalp is nice and clean without stripping your hair. And it's perfect if your hair has buildup, flakes, and it's just really dirty. I know a lot of shampoos don't get all the flakes, all the dandruff, etc. off in one wash, but I promise you that this does, and this has just been saving my life. Now, when it does come to shampoo and dry scalp, you don't want to over shampoo because, you know, shampooing does get rid of some of, you know, your natural oils and stuff. So if you're doing it too much, then you're not really helping with dry scalp. You're just continuing to make your, dry, um, your scalp dry. Now for me, I used to shampoo like multiple times during the week, just depending on if my hairstyle lasted or not, usually one to two times a week, but now I'm strictly washing my hair, sorry about my voice, once a week. And if my style lasts longer, then I've been doing it once every two weeks because my hairstyles have been lasting um, up to two weeks sometimes. So. That has definitely helped with my scalp, making sure not to over shampoo, but making sure my scalp is clean. So just keep that in mind. Now for oiling my scalp. I typically oil my scalp on wash day. So after I shampoo, deep condition, and I'm about to get ready to style, I um, use my little, I don't know, I what is this um, oil applicator? Um, on my scalp, I make sure to get it all throughout my hair on my scalp rub it in really nice and I got this from Sally's for maybe a couple bucks I really like this because this thing is long and you know my hair is kind of thick so it really gets on my roots and also I think it's much better and uh, I just think it's much better than like applying it to your your hands and trying to put it in that way because there's only so much your fingers can get and I don't really think it I just think using something like this can be more beneficial especially if you have dry scalp you want to make sure your entire scalp is covered in oil doesn't have to be dripping but you know what I mean 
So I'm going to show you my two favorite oils that I have been using. My two favorite oils that I've been using are the Miel Organics Mince Almond Oil. I'm sure you guys all have heard of this. And then I've also been loving this Hairfinity Nourishing Botanical Oil. So um, I've been loving the Miel Organics one because of the mint. Like, I feel like the mint is the main, you know, peppermint is the main reason why I love this. When I put it on my scalp, it just instantly makes it feel nice and cool. I love this stuff, you guys. If you've used it, you know why I love it. So, yeah, I love this one. So, um, yeah, like I said, I've also been loving this Hairfinity one, um, Hairfinity oil. Now, they did send this to me to use and try out. But you guys know, when I get sent products, I typically just use it once, review it, then I'm on to the next one, on to the next one. But I've actually really been loving this because actually with this oil, which has a ton of different oils in it, um, and the Miel Organics oil, I found that... It moisturizes my scalp so good to where I don't have to reapply it for up to a week. And back to the whole tea tree oil thing. With the tea tree oil, I found that by the next day, my scalp was dead dry. And I had to reapply it every day, sometimes multiple times a day. Because it was just, it was pretty much, it was drying my scalp out. And I, at that point, you know, I was just getting back into the whole natural thing. And I didn't. I honestly didn't really even notice. I just thought, oh, I have to apply it every day. But using these two oils where I don't have to apply it every single day, like it'll last for a good week. My scalp isn't itchy, it's not dead, you know, it's not dry. Um, it's not flaky. These are amazing for flakes. So yeah, I haven't been dealing with any flakes and that's really important. I hate having flakes in my hair. It just feels so disgusting. So that's why I said the tea tree oil I don't think was my thing and not every oil is going to work for you. Yes, there are a ton of different oils that are great for your scalp, but I think you just have to try them out and see what works for you, which one is the best. Right now, I'm loving these two, but I do want to try like my, um, I have jojoba oil. I want to try that on my scalp, my black castor oil. I think I have avocado oil, so I want to just try different oils on my scalp, see which ones work for me. But as of right now, I definitely recommend you guys to try these out, so I'll link them in the, in the description box where you can purchase them. And I think those are my two tips for what I've been doing for my dry, itchy, flaky scalp. Um, making sure, like I said, that I shampoo, not too much, but I'm making sure my scalp is clean and then going in with a nice moisturizing oil that is going to just heal and moisturize my scalp so that I don't have to deal with itching it all day long scratching it till I get scabs in it like it was that bad and to where like my scalp just flakes up and gets all nasty um, so I'm gonna see if I can show you guys my hair if it'll show up And I believe it's been four or five days since I washed it. Um, so as you can see, no, um, no flakes, no nothing. It's just nice, clean, and healthy. And what did I use? I used the, this one, and this is just the Miel Organics um, poured in here since that doesn't have a applicator. I just poured it in here and my scalp is fine haven't been itching so yeah i'm pretty sure i'll be good till wash day which is in just a couple days so let me know if these tips helped you another thing i want to say before i go is consistency in the beginning because like i said this started like four months ago when i had just found out i was pregnant i was doing the whole oil shampoo thing but I was not being consistent. I was really lazy about it. I would wait to oil my scalp until my, you know, when my hair was just really, really itchy and unbearable. That's when I would be like, okay, maybe I should put some oil on it. And you can't do that. You have to stay consistent. So every wash day, I don't know what's up with my voice. <laughs> so every wash day, I make sure to oil my scalp. Do not forget, you guys. And 
yeah consistency is key with anything so let me know if you like this video definitely like comment share and subscribe comment down below any of your favorite oils what you do for your dandruff dry scalp and i will see you guys in my next video